Hey goalies, this is Tanner Gillette with Goal in the Net. I'm just gonna do a quick video on taping a stick. Some things you can do, it's mostly pretty optional, but for parents and, and new goalies that don't know how to tape their stick, I'll just go through a couple things you can do. First off, you can start with the blade. You can use white or black. There's no right or wrong way to tape your stick. Personal preference for me, I usually start kind of that three quarters. Lots of parents and lots of goalies will do the heel. For one, it'll last longer if you're taking a lot of shots with it. Sometimes the heels tend to wear out just with uh, younger goalies. And you just go around. Now you can get either thin or thick tape. You can get white, black, doesn't matter. I prefer white. Again, I like ordering my gear. I usually tend to stay towards white. Just makes goalies appear bigger. Again, personal preference. Now lots of goalies and players will tape the full toe and then just use scissors to cut it. For the sake of this, I'm just gonna go right to there. You can kind of see blades start to tape shape. Don't do the heel, you can do the heel, up to you. Now you can move up to the shaft where goalies will hold their stick. Lots of sticks when you're buying them will actually come with grip. Most goalies prefer grip here. I personally don't, I'm one of the few guys that doesn't like grip, so I would sand the grip off or when I was ordering the sticks, I'd get them with no grip. Lots of goalies will actually do a knob kind of around here with same tape and then make it more grippy and you can just feel more control with your stick as you use it. So I don't do that. That's again, optional. You can do whatever you want here for, sometimes for young goalies, it's good to help them hold the stick. I just move right up to the knob. So to the knob, there's usually a plug. I'll just tape a little bit of that plug. I'll go around once. How far down it doesn't matter. I usually go right to where the, the top of the, the paint job starts. I'll start with my base layer. Now you can keep the tape thick and just go around. I personally, just for puck handling purposes, like to split the tape. So it's actually a bit thinner. So now you just go around with half of it. I put that right at the top. Now I usually go around 36 times. That was the number I wore. Thirty-six. Now from there, sometimes this tape will just peel off the end after a while. So I like to just press it down, get it firm, nice and tight. So then it lasts a bit longer. Again, there's no right or wrong way to do the knob. You can go thicker, you can go smaller. I then use grip tape. So there's different types of grip tape. There's kind of the thicker, puffier grip tape. There's the thinner kind of grip tape. The reason I prefer grip tape is sometimes this will get sticky after your glove touches the tape for a bit, it'll get sticky. So the grip tape just prevents that. You can get lots of different colors, kind of fun, match your team. So then I go around just the top. Squeeze that so it's nice and tight. And then I'll usually go around the bottom a couple times just so it doesn't roll. So my knob's a bit smaller. So when my stick would come up and I'd have it in my blocker, I like to rest it right in my palm area. Some goalies will have the knob actually kind of out their hand like that as they play it. I personally liked it right there so you can slide it out, get into your puck handling. So in the knob, a lot of personal preference, the stick, a lot of personal preference. But for young goalies um, and parents that have never done it before, there's a little quick tutorial on how you can tape the blade. Again, go up to the heel if you want. You can add extra knob portion right here, and then the knob as well. One thing for smaller goalies that aren't gonna be playing the puck as much, I would recommend a bigger knob, simply because sometimes when you're stuck on your post and you're moving, your stick will get caught in the net. So making sure your knob is a little bit bigger, or it doesn't get caught in the net, and then you can't fish it out. That's taping your stick, pretty simple, but if you've never done it, it could be confusing.